Yeah, we're gonna record this stuff. Yeah, I just want to demonstrate you how this British thuggery works in London. Uh, they are depicting some. In the Bible it says, love your they hire basically to love love depict Jesus. them as they literally depict them as uh, extremists, as uh, Islamists, and so on. Okay. When in fact these are not even any kind of Islamists yeah, and stuff like that. They get the people to act stupid, basically they hire them and they come to the stands, they pose there and they create a stupid situation for people to believe there is some kind of an Islamistic problem. When you try to post the comment under the video, like I tried to post one second ago, these are not even Islamists, but regular thugs hired by the British to act like Islamist thugs. That British, you don't, you don't have the police. You have too much police, from what I know, especially when concerning Palestine. And then they continue. London is bursting from fascism, Nazism issues again. You would love nothing more than colonialism back, which you jump started in me this via creation of Israel. It's called the Zio fascism, as I'm trying to add below, but I'm, I can't anymore because it seems like the comments already were deleted, hide. And this is British, basically how they operate. They don't allow people to even express their opinion. If the opinion is not in line with this thuggery here, you see right here on the London street in greater than Great Britain, you don't get to pose any kind of opinion. This is basically the dictatorship, the fascist, neo-Nazi, colonialist state British started to run again. There is a thuggery. Yeah, shame on you, shame on you. Uh -huh. Well, then they get, then they get a, like a black person and the ghost. And he confronts this so-called Islamist thugs. And now you have basically same people interacting with one another with two acting like Turks and another one in the name of God, in the name of Britain, in the name of the justice, in the name of the weaker against stronger. He is defending the free, the brave world. Yeah. I mean, you should be ashamed to do the stuff like this. I mean, you know. You think I'm the only person who sees it this way? It's pretty much the whole world that knows what's going on today in Britain. You're not doing well, and you're pulling the entire Europe behind. Europe is not going to follow your example, though. The world is not going to follow your example. You don't have what it takes. Um, interesting. He says there's one reply, and then there is no reply. Look at it. And the comment here, who knows if anybody can even see this comment. What the comment is, is it, is it visible to people, is it not visible to people? Anyhow, there's been like 3,600 comments. Uh, I posted mine uh, seven minutes ago, and it's not visible. Stuff that you have seen, I have also posted. It's not visible anywhere. Look at it. It's question if this stuff is even visible. So it's a thuggery all the way. And I have a go to completely another account, and I want, let's say, to see my comment right there. Would I get to see one at all from another browser, from another account? In the Bible it says, love your enemies. Yeah. So this is, this. I, I would not say this is a Christian uh, extremism. 
this is definitely a form of the fascism, Nazism. And um, let's see, newest first. Oh, look at that. There is actually my comment right there, but there is no comments, other comments that I posted anywhere. So... No, here, and I'm going to get you a uh, one, two, three of mine here. I'm sure he's going to stay there. <laughs> Well, what's interesting is they regulate the site. Have you seen that? In, within the second, you have somebody already taking care of your comment. It's like, these people here are not preaching Christianity or something like this, but they post video like this, they create the stuff like this, like it's called like a hot fascist, zeo fascist, zeo Nazi, Nazi, neo Nazi shit, colonialism shit. And then what they do is, they open the stand at the YouTube, and within the second, your comments actually even get deleted, censored. That's what's interesting. It's a thuggery, thuggery out there for you to pick up, like the wrong phone call from a spammer. It's made, built, literally to trash the space, trash you, and through the Google is algorithm, artificial intelligence, it's carved for you to jump in your face at whatever piece of the world you're at, it doesn't matter where you're located at, the probabilities, you see, the secret numbers do the dance. And dance straight to your laptop, straight to your desktop, is what I'm trying to say. Whatever you're located at, that's why in some countries YouTube is even banned. So understanding of this neo-Nazism, fascism, that they are spreading across the globe, that is causing major censorship problems and issues. Uh, well, there you have it, basically. That's how it works. No, there is no, the, is is already censored. Look at that. I just go to another to original account from what I posted it. You won't see that that uh, that uh, you won't see the comment anywhere. But you know what? I'm gonna post this video on my website. I like that better, so the people can actually see and understand what's happening. Why in some countries YouTube is actually banned. <laughs> 